not talking about connections and relationships. We're talking about how can I get out there? All my, a lot of my energy is going into packaging myself, but maybe some energy needs to be going into how do I be honest? How do I be more vulnerable? How do I value connecting with someone? Because I think that if we don't do that, it becomes very empty and almost addictive that losing weight isn't enough. I have to lose more weight. Changing my um, uh, stomach size isn't enough. I have to, to increase something else. And I think we have to look at a deeper level because um, I think it become, becomes very empty and addictive for people. So wait a minute. So you think that the Diet Coke guy, the Diet Coke guy has started a, an unhealthy trend? Yeah, I think he it's... And he reflects it, yeah. Well, it also good, per good, 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 it good. perpetuates it also yeah. because it doesn't just say, well, this is out here, therefore we have a Diet Coke guy, it really says, this is the way you're supposed it's to be. It's a little happen. bit of levity, there's pleasure in it. I mean, I love that commercial, it's fun to look at, and if you just can sort of focus on the pleasure of it, it doesn't have to That's be right. as serious and obsessive, it doesn't have to be, it feels good to look good, and if you can sort of work it into the whole context of yourself. But Jill, well, I think you've heard today, these guys, a lot of these guys, this is a very major part of their lives. And it's partly about attractive women, but it's also very much about who they are. Yeah. I live with two young ladies, and I see what they value. And these guys do great, you know, I really do. But they're acting like they're victims of society. You know, I'm sorry, but, you know, they're not victims. But I guarantee these guys would be the first guys in line with, instead of the Wonder Bra, Wonder Boxer shorts. They'd be standing up there going, <laughs> oh, I need to pair these oh, new oh, Wonder Boxer shorts. Oh, wow. No, they're not, you know, they're yeah, not what, what did you acting say? like victims. I, I wanted to say, I think that we're all victims of society here. And I mean, I think I'm living proof of You're this. You're Mike, so you can stand up. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, 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 I'm no, living ahead, proof of this because I, at one time, was so concerned about working out and building up. And uh, it, it became addictive for me. And uh, it got to the point where I was compulsive exercising about four or five hours every day. I was so concerned with the way I looked. It just kind of fed on itself and kept on going and kept on going. And uh, you may not believe this, but just back uh, in June, uh, I was down to a weight of about 130 pounds. Just looked awful. My, I had lost my friends. This is something that, that was me. I, this, this was something that had gone on with me for five years or so. And it's just, that's why I keep on going back to the fact that it's not what's on the outside that's so important. It's what's on the inside. You've got to believe in yourself. You got, you've got to feel good about yourself. Yeah. For years. Right. Our, our the point of our survey, again, is not to state whether this is appropriate or not, whether inner beauty equals a, a outer beauty. Women have had to live under this standard for a long time. And what's increasingly apparent as men lose control uh, of circumstance, of jobs, of power in the society, that they have to live up to a certain standard that women have had.